South Africans suffer from what our very own Turo likes to call anti-station wagonism. For reasons we cannot fathom, South Africans just don't buy station wagons. But then they also buy into the whole SUV hype. Again, the mind boggles, because the reasons are apparently for practicality. But a station wagon offers this and so much more. Not convinced? How about we combine two models together? Like this, the Subaru Outback. It's like a crossover mixed with a station wagon. The first Outback was launched in 1994 and it continues to represent that adventurous spirit that the Subaru brand likes to be known for. It has that go anywhere rugged appearance and really is for outdoorsy people. It has the attributes of an SUV but also the car like driving dynamics which are even better than an SUV. That's without even speaking about the practical side of things. But more on that later. First, let's take a look at this facelifted Outback. You'll see most changes have been made up front. It now features a revised, edgier bumper design with toned down fog lamp surrounds and protection from the elements is provided by larger front cladding. The three blade grille is still present, but the first blade is finished in chrome, while the two remaining blades are finished in matte black. A camera for the new front view monitor is also housed in the grille. The C-shaped Hawkeye headlights have been slightly revised and the side mirrors now feature integrated turn signals and side cameras for added safety while parking or off-roading. New 18-inch alloy wheels round off the look and they are finished in contrasting two-tone high-gloss silver with black inlays. There are also two new colours to choose from which include crimson red pearl and this wilderness green metallic. Inside the cabin is where we see the most changes. You'll see new detail around the instrument binnacle, the centre console and the air vents. This new leather multifunction steering wheel operates the 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system which is quite easy to use and offers Apple CarPlay and Android Auto function. Subaru's EyeSight Safety Suite has been included which started with the XV last year and is now filtering through the Subaru range. It's standard fitment and includes turning headlights, high beam assist, blind spot detection, rear cross traffic alert and front and rear parking sensors. Adaptive cruise control, pre-collision braking and lane departure warning are also included. It really is a comprehensive list of safety features. Where the Outback really shines though is cabin space. The rear passengers have loads of legroom and USB ports. And as for the boot, you get 512 litres extended to 1,801 litres with the rear seats down. That's bigger than the Volkswagen Touareg. Not many cars in this segment can say the same. If they could talk, that is. But with these down, you can put in things like mountain bikes, surfboards, and maybe even, I don't know, like a churro or two. <laughs> Another really cool feature on the Outback are these swiveling roof racks. Now I'm going to get Mel to help me show you how they work, but essentially if they're vertical across the car like this, then well they're kind of useless. But turn them and you'll see what happens. Mel? Thanks. Now, so easily, you can put a kayak or a surfboard or anything across here. You could do it as a one-man job, but it's easier when you have Mel. The engine lineup remains the same. So you've still got the 2.5 litre engine and then this 3.6 litre flat six cylinder engine. You don't often get to see a massive engine like this in a car these days. And there's something about being able to put your foot flat and getting instant response from low down revs which you don't get from the recent turbo cars these days. The only downside is, you're gonna spend more at the fuel pumps. Subaru claims 9.9 .9 liters per 100 k's, but we're seeing more of the high 11s. However, out on the open road, we saw that average drop to as low as 8.3 liters per 100, even with the car fully loaded. This CVT transmission is probably one of the best that we've experienced. If you just let it do its thing in your everyday driving, you won't even notice that it's a CVT. But it's just when you put your foot down and you want that performance that you get that monotone drone and restrained accelerating feeling. 
The Outback features all-wheel drive and active torque vectoring to aid in enhanced performance on various terrain and with an electronically controlled continuously variable transfer clutch, the Outback can transfer torque to the wheel that needs it most in difficult terrain. It is also equipped with X-Mode, which further manages the all-wheel drive system, engine output and enhances the stability control for maximizing traction when the going gets really tough. Heel descent control is also activated when X-Mode is operational to maintain constant vehicle speed on a downhill. Even on this gravel, the Outback feels sure-footed and has that go-anywhere feel that I spoke about earlier. It's rugged, it's rough, it's ready, but the ride is superb and that's thanks to the softer suspension setup. And it's quiet in here, which I imagine will be very welcomed if you've got the entire family in here with you. Pricing for the Outback starts at just under 580,000 Rand for the 2.5, but this 3.6 litre ES will cost you just over 650,000 Rand, which means it's a bit more than conventional SUVs such as the Honda CRV and Mazda CX-5. However, cars like the Kia Sorento and Volvo V60 Cross Country are more of a direct match for the Subaru, where it's similarly priced, spec'd and sized, just with a much bigger petrol engine. This car has so much to offer. It's versatile, it's practical yet adventurous, and it feels dependable. We've said this about Subarus before, they feel like they're built to last forever. Now, we just need South Africans to buy station wagons so that we can have more excellent products like this hit our shores. Until then, well, I consider this a great alternative to any SUV or plane crossover. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, you know, maybe, maybe give it a like and uh, definitely subscribe to be the first to see our videos as they drop. Uh, yeah, definitely do that.